Hello, my name is Fiona, and I'm a certified teacher and a Praxis coach with Study.com. Are you planning to take the Praxis Mathematics exam? This is Praxis Test Code 5165. Praxis 5165 covers mathematics knowledge up through the high school level. This problem set covers the subtopic content area of Task of Teaching. Task of Teaching questions take applicable math skills and focus on your ability to teach these same skills to others. Let's review the types of questions you can expect to encounter on the exam. Problem number one. Three students found the correct solution to the following equation, but they each used a different method to solve the equation. Which of the following student methods are valid strategies for solving the equation? Select all that apply. Let's take a look at option C. The first three steps are correctly calculated. In step four, however, the student incorrectly subtracts to get x plus 1 instead of x minus 1. The next step includes this error. Following this, they fail again to maintain the correct signage from one side to the other, thereby correcting their original error and coming up with a correct answer despite their flawed methodology. Let's look at the correct methods. Option A correctly expands and simplifies the equation step by step. By distributing 2 over 3x minus 12, combining like terms, isolating the variable term, and solving for x, the student arrives at the correct solution, x equals 3. Similarly, option B starts by dividing the entire equation by 2, simplifying each term correctly, and then following through with proper algebraic steps to isolate x and find that x equals 3. So both options A and B are valid strategies for solving this equation. Problem number two. Mr. Smith asks his students to simplify the following expression. The following is one of his students' solutions. Has the student made an error here? And if so, at which step? Option A states that the student's solution is correct, which is not true because there are mistakes in the calculations. Option B suggests that the error is at step two, this is correct because step two incorrectly distributes negative seven over the terms inside the parentheses. It should be negative seven y plus seven x, not negative seven y minus seven x. Option C states that the error is at step four, but step four is correctly simplified. The correct answer is option D. The student's solution is incorrect with errors at both step one and step two. In step one, the student incorrectly expands x plus three to the power of two. The correct expansion should be x squared plus six x plus nine, not x squared plus nine x plus nine. In step two, the student correctly distributes the negative seven, but carries forward the error from step one, leading to further incorrect steps. Correctly simplifying the expression should involve the correct expansion of x plus three to the power of two. So D is the correct answer here. Problem number three. Ms. Juarez is teaching a lesson on probability to her first grade class. Which of the following activities would be most appropriate to help her students understand the basic idea of probability? Have students solve simple probability problems using fractions. Give students a bag of blue and red marbles 
and ask them to predict which color they will pull out more often. Ask students to create a probability tree diagram for flipping a coin. Or show a video of complex probability scenarios involving a standard deck of 52 cards. Option A involves students solving simple probability problems using fractions. This might be too advanced for first graders who are just beginning to understand numbers and basic math concepts. Fractions can be abstract and challenging for them to grasp. Option C asks students to create a probability tree diagram for flipping a coin, which again might be too complex and abstract for young children at this stage of their learning. Finally, Option D involves showing a video of complex probability scenarios involving a standard deck of 52 cards. This is not only too advanced, but also might overwhelm the students with unnecessary complexity and fail to engage them effectively. The correct answer here is option B. Giving students a bag of blue and red marbles and asking them to predict which color they will pull out more often is a hands-on, engaging activity that is appropriate for their age and skill level. It introduces them to the basic idea of probability in a tangible and intuitive way, making the learning process fun and interactive. So B is the right answer. I trust I was able to clarify the types of questions you will find about the subtopic of task of teaching for the Praxis 5165 mathematics exam. Please remember to like and subscribe to this channel so that with study.com's help, you will feel well equipped and well prepared for exam day. Bye for now.